If you're a fan of Dark Tide, then we have some absolutely huge news to go through. Just now, over on the official Dark Tide social media, they've just uploaded a video, which it seems to confirm demons are coming to Dark Tide. Yes, it's time to purge the demonic four we'll get onto that in a brief second in the video uh, we also have brand new stuff added into the game we have um weapon cosmetics we have player cosmetics we have player weapon upgrades new resources added a bunch of stability patches and stuff like that and also we now have confirmation on our player beta characters what's going to happen to them the developers have finally decided so let's jump in and let's talk about everything so i want to start with the trailer because this is what's really getting me hype now so i'm going to put it in the background so you can watch it and everything like that it's only a small trailer just a tease from the dark tide developers you get to see some eyes uh, all green you get to hear some monster sounds and that's about it but with the power of course of video editing we can stop that, we can freeze it, we can enhance it like CSI do, we can brighten it up, and we get to see a little bit more of what this thing is. And it looks like a demonic foe. Now, we don't know if this is a boss, we don't know if this is a, some type of new elite. What we do know, because people have data mined the game, is that there is a secret achievement in the game again i'm going to put the achievement up somewhere on my face right now you can see the actual icon of it this is called banisher and the banisher achievement icon actually looks like what this is on the video so i'm putting two to two together if you kill whatever this is you're going to unlock that secret achievement now moving on to another piece of huge news is that the developers have confirmed that player progression will carry over from the pre-order beta they posted this image again which is going to be somewhere on my face stating that your player character will have its progression saved which is massive huge thankful news because some of us maybe me you know maybe maybe not me have put in a lot of effort in our characters so far playing this pre-order beta i've unlocked everything more or less on my ogryn so far which you can unlock during this pre-order beta i've got all the like the sexy helmet the big chunky shoulder pads everything like that i've unlocked and i would hate to start from square one again so awesome job developers really really happy that progression is now carrying over in dark tide from the pre-order beta to the full launch of this game now we're moving into game because I want to show off the brand new stuff that they've added in this huge 4 gig patch. The cosmetics and the weapon upgrades. There's also a few UI stuff they've added as well. But for now, I just want to focus on this stuff. So if you make your way over to the right side of the hub, you can see now that we have this area open. The shrine of the Omnissiah. This is where we can upgrade our weapons. Before we do that, I just want to point out... You can actually see people's levels now and also their class icons on the UI. So that is another thing that they've added in the background. So if we click this real quick, red E, and... Look upon your weaponry with respect, for it is beloved of the Omnicide. I love the voice acting in this game. I love the little back and forth for the characters. By the way, um, just off the topic of this video, how awesome would it be to have a tech priest as part as like... Uh, maybe like a DLC character added to this game, which you can take on missions and maybe unlock doors and all that cool stuff that Tech Priest can do. I think that would be a great addition to a kill squad sent in by the Inquisition. Anyway, enough of that. As you can see now, we've got resources added to the top over here. Those are the coins that you get from missions. If you actually go in here, we actually can't do the combined blessings. That's not been added at that moment. But if we go in here and we select some of our weapons, for me, of course, I've got my shield. Um, I've got my range weapon, which is the greener gauntlet. And I've got some of my other stuff, which, you know, like the, the reliquary, the cage, all that type of stuff. Now, if I was to click the shield... And you can see on the shield, the rating is 437. The damage, the crowd control, the cleave, the defensive, penetration, 
8% melee damage, 20% uh, damage on unyielding enemies. It's got Thunder Strike here. But if I wanted to upgrade this with the resources, I just click on this button here and it tells you how much resources I need. You can see I'm very, very much below. I need 350 and 900 um, of this resource. I think this one's Plasticry, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm not sure what this one's called. I completely forgot. I'll be honest with you. But you can see what you need. Um, a big upgrade to go from um, purple to basically master crafted militarium issue to master crafted this is what you're going to be aiming for now for some of the big end game scenarios you know doing level fours and plus um the rating of course will change so the rating i have at the moment is 437 when i upgrade it it's going to be between 462 and 492 so hopefully i'm going to be upgrading it to the latter end and getting some really big you know ratings on the shield when i eventually do it um once that is done of course the damage and stuff like that will increase because of the rating um will go up and um, what also happens as well is that you get a new blessing on the shield so down here you will get another blessing like the first blessing we've got is thunder strike target receives three stacks of five percent impact if already staggered and maybe we'll get something cooler to add to that and make this shield a really really awesome powerhouse if we were to go back and i was to select my oh sorry if i was to select my grenade launcher and we do the same you can see everything on my grenade launcher i click on it again military issue master crafted i get a new blessing on that as well and again the resources are more or less the same it looks like everything from master crafted will will cost 350 of this and 900 of this as far as i'm aware i have been playing the missions and gathering resources that if you play a level one or a level five it seems like the resources don't change i'm not sure if that's a bug at the moment i'm not sure if the developers are going to change that but what i would suggest to you if you want to start gathering resources just run a bunch of level ones with some friends if you're high level you can easily just go through it within you know five to ten minutes and absolutely start farming all these resources to start upgrading your weapons right if we go back and we turn and we go to the other end of the player hub by the way i'm just going to do my little badass walk because i just love the way i look um no i'm only kidding i'm gonna start sprinting over here um the next thing that has been added is uh cosmetics um there's a bunch of people there probably trying the cosmetics out um so if we go over here um and click on the e and um, before it was just weapons uh you clicked on it you know you selected your weapon everything like that now we've got two more tabs we've got operative cosmetics and weapon cosmetics if we click on the operative cosmetics you will have a bunch of options to buy stuff now with the in-game currency that you earn through doing missions. Um, for me, of course, since I'm an Ogryn, it's a bunch of vests and a bunch of different camo pants. I actually did buy some camo pants and I bought a helmet for 110,000 because I have a problem unlocking the achievement helmet at the moment. Something's broke in the game. I've, you know, sent a query to the devs. Hopefully we can get that sorted out. Um, but, you know, I just want a helmet, so that's why I bought one. Um, but if you go for your class now, you see a bunch of different options, bunch of different colors. Um, like, for example, like you get like this, like um, a camo stuff. For me, I've actually bought it on my guy and I've actually equipped it already. Um, and the same with the weapons. You go in there with the in-game goal that you earn. You can actually now just spend it on customizing your weapons and sure there's going to be a huge amount of different variants and skins added to this game that you can buy with your in-game currency again this is just a start it's just been implemented so watch this space i'm sure there's going to be a lot more stuff being added and a lot more stuff coming for the game Anyway, Chaproonios, that is enough waffling from me as always. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you've got any thoughts, feedback, anything like that, as I always say, post it down below. We can have a nice little talk down there. What I will say, if you're joining me for the launch of this game on the 30th, because I will be doing a live stream, I'm going to be doing a 12-hour live stream. We are going deep into this game we're going to be playing all day uh, we're going to get in some people on to join us uh, hopefully some of the big youtubers are going to be joining us as well as other people in the 40k community also i have six keys to give away six full game keys five of them are the imperial edition so it comes with the dlc so you get all like the awesome cosmetics that's added to that i will be giving them out 
on the day throughout that live stream playthrough. So if you haven't got the game and you're wondering, you know, how can I get my hands on it? Um, maybe you can win a key over on my channel. I'll have more information on that later in the week um, or later towards the release date of that. And I'll post it on my my channel so you can, you know, follow it and um, be notified uh, for that live stream. Anyway, enough waffling as always. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. See you now. Have a great day and bye-bye.